Hi everyone, Eric Goins from Automate Intelligently here. I have a quick video tutorial on how to set up a referral code um, within a onboarding process within a dollar. So this is one of my apps, Stuvi, um, that allows teams to, um, to communicate and, and have athletes message each other, etc. And one of the things that many apps need is if you have organizations within an app, you need a way for users to onboard and join that organization in a secure way. So the way that we do this most often is through a referral code. So that can be any arbitrary code. It could be the company name, it could be random characters, whatever it is. Um, and that way, when somebody creates an account, they can put in the referral code and automatically join a organization. That way you don't have like a drop down list that they have to, to go through and they can just select any organization. Um, and that way, uh, you know, it's basically like a password. So what I have here is we have organizations. Let me just move myself over here. Um, and every organization has a referral code um, that is set up when the organization joins. A user will go through this process. They will click uh, sign up. That will take them to this page. And here they will enter their referral code. And then this is actually a list, okay? So if I were to go down and undo this, you could see that it's many referral codes, but it is filtered so that it ref equals, um, it'll uh, only show if the, um, the referral code entered here is correct, okay? And then when it, once that is um, visible, they can click that, okay? And it will update them. It'll add them to the organization, okay? And then it links them to the next page to, um, to create their profile, okay? So, uh, and then every user, um, I'm having some problems here with some of these things, but every user here, okay? also has a organization that they're tied to. And that's once they join that. So I'll give you a quick demo here, kind of how this looks and feels. So if you were to go to sign up, okay, um, I'll just make up some information. Let's just take out part of this. Okay. So now there's no code here um, or there's no option to enter anything. But if I enter one of these codes that is correct, um, okay, this is just a test organization. I could submit the code and then be able to join. So you see there's no option once until you get to um, something that, that actually has a working code. If you have any questions on how that works, um, just feel free to reach out to me directly. Cheers.